In this video I will show you how to make a wireless electric energy transfer circuit or inductive power transfer. Follow me it's very easy. Wireless power transmission technology is the transmission of electrical energy without wires. Is an old technology and it was demonstrated by Nikola Telsa in the year 1980. The simple wireless power transmission circuit is shown below. The required components of this circuit mainly include N555 timer, and two transistor NPN, and pin P, type BC547. BC 557, and MOSFET transistor F620, and 2030 magnet wire, gauge copper wire. The wireless power transmission can be defined as, the energy can be transmitted from the transmitter to a receiver, through an oscillating magnetic field. One of the best main application for this technology, is wireless power charging. Wireless power charging is becoming more and more common in new gadgets like smartphones, tablets and laptops. With this pace of technological growth, one can certainly assume in the future that many domestic electronic devices will be charged or powered wirelessly. The number of manufacturers of wireless charging coils and control circuit chips are also expected to grow to meet increasing consumer demand. Wireless power transfer was first demonstrated by Nikola Tesla in the 1890s, however it is only really in the last decade that the technology has been harnessed to the point where it offers real, tangible benefits to real-world applications. In particular, the development of resonant wireless power technology for the consumer electronics market, has seen charging by induction, wireless charging, deliver new levels of convenience for the charging of millions of everyday devices. The basics of wireless power involves the transmission of energy from a transmitter to a receiver via an oscillating magnetic field. To achieve this, direct current DC, supplied by a power source, is converted into high-frequency alternating current AC, by specially designed electronics built into the transmitter. The alternating current energizes a copper wire coil in the transmitter, which generates a magnetic field. Once a second, receiver, coil is placed within proximity of the magnetic field, the field can induce an alternating current in the receiving coil. Electronics in the receiving device then converts the alternating current back into direct current, which becomes usable power. The distance at which the energy, or power, can be transferred is increased. If the transmitter and receiver coils are resonating at the same frequency, this resonant frequency refers to the frequency at which an object naturally vibrates or rings much like the way a tuning fork rings at a particular frequency and can achieve their maximum amplitude. The heart of this circuit is a 555 timer, arranged in a stable multivibrator mode is designed to produce a higher frequency 20 kHz. The output of EC555, pin 3, is connected to base of two general purpose transistor T1 and T2, which is used to drive the MOSFET T2. The MOSFET T2 is used to switch the LC tuned circuit which further transmit oscillating magnetic field. Now we go to build this circuit follow me. It's very easy.